Hey guys, welcome to the video. How important are SQL databases in modern development? Short answer is they're very important. So in this video, I'm gonna give you an overview of SQL databases to help you understand why they're so important, why you should learn to master, well not master, but become pretty comfortable with SQL databases if you want to advance as a developer, if you wanna make your life as a developer much easier. So let me rattle off some of the bullet points here and then I'll get into some details. So first and foremost, I would argue maybe 97% of web apps are driven by SQL based databases. There are different types of databases out there. There's SQL databases. Another word for, another way to refer to SQL databases are relational databases. Why are they called relational databases? Because relational databases SQL databases are designed to keep relationships between data piece A and data piece B and data piece C to keep them in alignment with each other. So let me give you a practical example so that makes kind of sense. Let's say you have an online store and you have a bunch of data on all the clients who purchase from you and you also have a bunch of data about what purchases they made, what products did they buy. So you'd have a part of your database, and I'm avoiding, I'm, I am avoiding jargon here for the non-SQL initiated. Um, so you have one part of your database. A database is just a store of data. It's, a, it's like a, a box where you put all your information in. So relational databases, SQL databases, same thing. They store their information in different boxes, virtual boxes. They call them tables. Anyhow, so you'd have one box, one table with all your information about all your clients. And then you have another box with all the orders that have been placed in your online store. So the relationship is between your clients who place orders and the actual products they bought. There is a relationship. You want to have all your list of all your products that they bought and all of your clients. So you want to create relationships between this box here, this table here, with all the sales you made and this table here with all the clients you have. That's an example of a simple relationship. It can get far more complex than that. But so now you have a very basic understanding of what I'm talking about when I'm talking about relational databases like relationships. DB Forge for MySQL. This is a thick client for Windows that allows you to easily control your MySQL and your MariaDB databases provides all kinds of visual tools. Very cool. Let's just jump in, take a look at what it looks like. Here we go. As you can see, they have a very clean user interface, provides all kinds of functionality that will make your life much easier as you work with MySQL. So including code completion, debugger, query profile, code editor. It's very cool. So in the end, what does it mean when you use this product? Essentially, you'll be able to manage, maintain, build up, your databases allows you to speed up your SQL coding by 50% or 54%, reduces the database task time up to 50%, increases testing speed by 200%, save 40% time on routines with DB4 Studio for MySQL. Essentially, it's a really good way to be able to create databases, maintain databases, update them, check queries. If you've been working with web app development for any period of time, you know that, as I've said, in many videos at the heart of any web app really is an SQL based database. And these days you're typically going to be using MySQL or MariaDB. So if you have a tool that allows you to more quickly edit code, create tables, check queries, get results from queries, automate tasks, uh, this is just going to save you a huge amount of time. Besides, all the tools will help you create and build your database. They have a bunch of tools that allow you to maintain, optimize database queries. Very important, including uh, remote backups, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. I have used this type of tool uh, many, many, many times. In fact, I depended on these things for years. They're very important. You see here many big companies such as IBM, Honeywell, Disney, Motorola, et cetera, use db forge so you know it's good very cool stuff i invite you to take a look 
in full transparency. They are the sponsor, but as you know, I don't take too many sponsors. I refuse the vast majority, and I only present to you products and services that I feel are worthy of your attention. If you're going to be doing web apps, you're probably going to be working for MySQL at some point, and you should be considering DB Forge Studio because it's just going to make your life so much easier. As a web developer, this I can guarantee without a doubt, without a doubt. If you want to download a demo of DB Forge Studio for MySQL, you can check out the link below this video, or you can scan this QR code here, and it will take you to the download page. The other type of database is fairly popular, although not even close, but still fairly popular. It's something called a NoSQL database. Uh, NoSQL databases are optimized for speed in certain circumstances. I won't go into a whole, all the detail here because it's beyond the scope of this video. So you have relational databases, by far the most powerful. Uh, scratch that. By far the most popular. Some would argue most powerful. Then you have no SQL databases. Then you've got object-oriented databases. Object-oriented databases are directly related to object-oriented programming, and um, they're very specialized. They would be used in situations where you have very minimal amount of space and you need highly optimized databases. That's where an object-oriented database uh, will come in handy. They had a bit of a push in the early 2000s. People were going, oh yeah, object-oriented databases, the next big thing that's going to kill everything. And nothing happened. <laughs> <laughs> They're out there, but they didn't take over the world. SQL databases are pretty much super dominant. So why should you care about SQL databases? Because if you become competent and proficient in your understanding of SQL databases, your job as a web developer and as a developer in general, if you work with databases anyway, will become much, much, much easier. You're going to find that especially with web apps a big part of the job is just moving the data from the web page through the middle layer of code into the database and then back out again so if you have a good understanding of the structure of sql databases you understand how they work their pros and cons your ability to put out highly efficient web apps with uh, less headaches will increase quite a bit so having a good understanding and having good tools that work with relational databases is key. The final point I'm going to bring up in this video is that when it comes to web app performance, people talk about that a lot on the web. I think it's over-exaggerated. I think web apps and servers and client computers and smartphones and bandwidth are so powerful today that worrying about your website's speed and performance is really secondary for most people. If you're building Facebook, sure. You're building uh, Google, sure. But most of us are not building these type of super high in-demand web apps. So that being said, um, most performance issues with websites and apps is in the database. It's the SQL. So if you have a good understanding and have good tools that allow you to work with SQL databases efficiently and quickly, you will be uh, far, far better off. So if you want to, if you're worried about performance in your website, you want to speed up the time it takes you to build effective web apps, you want to have less headaches in terms of your web app development, become proficient in SQL and understanding relational databases in general. Again, don't forget, an SQL database is a relational database. It's just two different ways of referring to the same style of databases. There are many SQL databases out there. I think the most popular is probably MySQL, MariaDB, then you got Postgre, and then you got Microsoft uh, SQL Server, and you got Oracle, and there's others as well. Anyhow, I hope you found this video useful and uh, something to consider. If you like my style of teaching and you want to be mentored by me, I invite you to take a look below. I have my mentoring program. It's opened up now for new people. If you want the full, fully supported learning experience with me, check it out below. If you like solo learning, you got my interactive courses as well. Check out the links below. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.